what's good everybody it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk you know guys we have seen something in sports happen just a few weeks ago which some of us could never have predicted bill belichick one of the greatest coaches of all time we probably might put him up there as one uh, because of tom brady obviously he was uh, I won't say he's fired, but he decided to part ways with the Patriots. And then there were several head coaching jobs available. The Falcons were available. The Redskins were available. The Seahawks were available. Uh, I believe the Titans were available. Some of these other teams that are out there, the Chargers were available. All of them were filled by somebody else. And Bill Belichick, at 71 years old, arguably the greatest coach of all time, couldn't get an offer. He interviewed for some of those jobs too, couldn't get on. We never felt that this would happen, but it did. Time has passed by. Maybe he just couldn't adapt. But in the case of Mary J. Blige, my wife, my lover in my mind, my friend, hmm. Mary J. is trying to adapt to today's world, which is a great thing for many people. Um, even on YouTube, videos are much different than when I first came on. Creators are better, editors are better, sound people are better. But Mary J. Blige has been changing her aesthetics, something that she didn't need to do in the 90s. This is very interesting. Now, Mary J. Blige is an iconic figure in R&B, okay? Especially in the early 90s. I've seen Mary J. Blige get a BBL. I don't understand why she needs one because her fan base is so strong based on her music based on who she is. But now Mary J. Blige has went on to this whole new level of eye lightening surgery. She now has lightened her eyes. Now, of course we know she loves that blonde kind of struggle weave. And this is what her eyes look like before. And this is what she looks like now. New butt, older, she looks way better in her more natural pics when she was younger, but okay, fine. This is what she wants to do. And so I'm trying to understand for these women now, why are they, Khalees, Khalees was recently in Kenya, I don't know if she's still there, why are they so, so, so interesting in all of these things when their fans love them for who they are? And that's one thing about men, rappers like E-40, um, I'm from the West Coast, I remember when E-40 hopped on the hyphy movement, for those of you who know, Mac Dre, Keek the Sneak, you know, uh, the Federation, EA, Ski, San Quinn. Then E-40, he finally hopped on the train and, you know, we had the little John uh, tell me when to go beat. E-40 went and got dreads. Want to know what E-40 never did? Get liposuction. E-40 never had any reason to get liposuction. I just never saw it. I never saw it. It was not important. But this is what he did. Didn't have to do it. Okay. Let me continue about what I'm talking about here. These women, their fans love them based on their music. Why are they getting ass shots in their 50s? I think I want to know. I think I know why. They want to keep up with these young chicks. They want to let people know that they're still sexy. Although, unless your women are, I don't know, bisexual or something like that. I don't know why you would want to be keeping up with them when you don't have to. You're Mary J. Blige. It only points to one thing. Insecurity. And this is what a lot of black men are dealing with. We have these ladies, some of the sisters. You know, let me just say this. Black men get a whole lot of, uh, of criticism for the choices that black women want to make and how they look, how they present themselves. You know, we get blamed for black women getting blonde weaves. We get blamed for black women getting everything they want to get under the sun. But we never ask the fundamental question. The fundamental question is, why do they do it? They do it because it's a competition. Let me just say this. A lot of ladies, okay? A lot of ladies go to the club, okay? Go to the club. They go to the club and what happens? Well, they go to the club and they, they're, they're looking nice. We think as men, though, she's there to look good for us. No, she don't care about you. She's there to stunt. So then why can't we really talk about that? Why can't we say this? You know what? We don't want to blame black men for why we keep getting all these things. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to take responsibility for that. We're getting it because we want to and something is wrong 
with how you feel that we look. Because you cannot explain why Mary J. Blige, who has one of the best fan bases in all of R&B music, would need to get lighter eyes. You cannot tell me why Mary J. Blige needs to have a big old BBL when Mary J. Blige ain't never bought, got her goddamn audience off of BBL. How are young people influencing legends like Mary J? Mary J, you need to stop. You are on another level. These chicks are not on your level. Why are you even listening to them? I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. And furthermore, look at what all these ladies are doing. Let me just explain. Listen to what I'm saying. So many ladies are basically looking at, well, I want to have this. I want to have that. I want to have this or that, okay? And what you look like. So many ladies are focused on what you look like. But here's what I wanna talk about. We be, we're becoming a society where we're not focusing on how we act. And I'm noticing this, guys. Um, I know COVID came, it's really destroyed uh, the world here. But I just wanna be honest, do you guys know that we don't even know how to have real human interactions anymore. That's the one of the things that I am so glad I'm able to do staying here in Uganda. Uganda is very um, a very great place to be when we're talking about, let's say, living and going out interacting with people, people still talking, you know, people still having fun, people still getting to meet, and people still, it's kind of the old, old school way of doing things, like in the 80s, you know? People still know how to have conversations. People still know how to greet, you know? People still know how to do that. I just, I'm, I'm feeling like that has been lost, guys. And so many ladies are, are getting towards things that are away from what femininity has required of them. What femininity has desired from them. We don't see that anymore because so many ladies are so focused on the bag, how big somebody's butt is, how big somebody's top is, instead of figuring out, Hey, you know, I'm a, I'm a great lady based on my personality. It's great that I'm, you know, thick, but my personality is just so much so that you can't get enough of it. This is why you need to be dealing with me. I just don't see that positioning from women coming anymore like we used to. So now even the older ladies who started off by because of their great personality, like people didn't love Mary J. Blige because Mary J. was just so damn beautiful. She is good looking right? But it was because of her personality and what she talked about, what she sung about, her issues with, with, with men, you know, her issues with how she didn't have a father, how she grew up, her pain and hurt. That's why we love Mary. That's why we love What's the 411 in my life as an album, all right? That's why we love that. No more drama, growing pains. And one of my favorites besides you know, my life, share my world, you know, and marry. Okay. What's the 411? Those are the best four. It was, was, was the first four albums. So, what's the 411? My life. Okay. Share my world and marry. Those are the best four. Shout out to the Breakthrough and Growing Pains. Because you know, I love Mary J. Blige, right? I'm just going to be real. But we loved her because of her story. Similarly, as men, we love women for their personality too. Women are so focused on what they look like, they forgot how to figure out how they act. And men too. And the world is going backwards, guys. It is going so backwards. We don't even know how to talk anymore. We don't even know how to even speak. These young guys today, all they want to do is tender. They don't know how to, they don't know how to do anything when it comes to socialism in the Western world. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you do. Scrap the bell. We're out.